Welcome back to the migration room. We talked about migration in the dream map and migration in the traditional system with ripples. So now, one of the things that we got was a lot of comments back on the video, which was great. A lot of input, and they said, you know, Dave, the round was cool. We got to see what was going on and how Dream Map did a good job capturing it in the air system, release more, and they said, well, you know what, Dave? Our goal is flat. All right, guys. So we decided to bring the world to flat. All for all the flat earthers. The world is flat now. We're gonna go into that zone. And we're going to release these guys into the sluice and see what happens. So we're going to look at the migration in the newer fluid dynamic system that uses a vortex and spins it, tangent inlet, spins it, concentrates, opposed to the ramps in Miner's Boss. So we're going to release the flat into the system. And we are going to see the difference and get a snapshot. So we're going to do some slow-mo, have some fun, do the same as we did before. Let's put it to the test. And then we're going to be able to see what the water says and what the sluice box say to the world of flat. Okay, so here we are, same setup as before. We are going to basically turn the pump on the same speed as last time, right around 10. And we are going to dump the flatness into the flat meter whatever we want to call this here. Okay, so here we go. We got the sluice running, going to town. Now we are going to do the dumbo drop. Flat into the world of round. Or, I guess it's a round world, but they're flat objects, so. All right, and everything came off the slick plate nice and easy. We don't have to move it. We get a, a good um, uh, impression of where the migration happens in the sluice box with the flat objects. And now let's go ahead and turn this guy off and take a look at how DreamAt dealt with the flatness. All right, here we go. There's our flatness. We go down. Hey, look at, we had some flippers come all the way down. Look at that. Flipper all the way at the end. Hey, you know, when flat objects get caught in the wind, like a kite, they can take off. And the more ramps you got, the better. But the majority of our flatness is right up front here. So our beautiful little brass discs are telling us that, oh, now let's take a look at, did we lose any? Yes, sorry, I forgot. We lost three BB, two BBs. We lost one flat one. So we do better with flat material well, I don't know if we have as many of these flat things as we have round things. I'm not gonna count them. So, we just got one. Dream map, whole bunch of flatness to one. All right, guys, so there we are. Let's take a look. Let's see the damage yo. Wait their photographic memory. To photograph this scientific experiment. And actually, believe it or not, this is a scientific experiment because it can be repeated and then we can gather data. And through an average, we can determine what our average capture rate is for this item. All right, cool beans. I've decided to have a few moments of silence for the flat one we lost. 
Okay, that's enough. All right, before we tear down and carry on, we're gonna do the, the serve. So we gotta, we gotta also look at, we're gonna do a stop and start. Last time we did six stop and starts for Dream App and only three for the other system. And we still only lost, well, go watch the video and see how many we lost. So we're gonna, we're gonna be extra um, harsh on the Dream App and we are gonna stop and start it six times again compared to we'll only be mean three times to the other sluice. So we gotta start, stop. Now remember the, the, the what people are saying is that the dream app loses more material in the stopping and starting than the other system does. In on our last one with the round we proved that to be absolutely false in Mythbuster, you know, the whole thing. It's like, it's just talk. And so, I think that's four? Was that four? I think it's, I'm lost count, so I, I'm just going wild here in my scientific testing. I'm not keeping track of my data. So here we are. We're just, I think I've already went six, but we're just gonna hit it again. And we'll just, we'll just, we'll turn this all the way up to 11. We're gonna turn this up to 11 where we're, Oh, giving her all she's got, Scotty. She's barely holding together. Okay, anyways. So and now we're going to go down and look into the, the ultimate loss chamber from the stopping and starting and decide what... Okay, we still got the one down there. The other ones must be invisible. That's what it is. Okay, so they're all there. You just don't see them. Okay, guys. There's our stopping and starting with Dream Map with Flat Earth. Let's take a look in the map because I know you got all photographic memories where the stuff was before, where it is now, as opposed to stopping and starting in our migration. All right, now let's go to the other traditional riffle sluice, expanded metal, carpet, traditional system and see how she does up against the flat ones. Well, yeah, there they all are. The flat earth. All right, so here we are with the old traditional setup with the miner or the miner's moss, the riffles, expanded metal, and we're gonna run the bag of flat, the world of flat, over this guy. So we're gonna see how this guy migrates it off compared to a dream mat. So we did the round. And then everybody said, well, my gold's flat. So here's the flat. So we did the dream mat flat. Now we're gonna do this flat. And we're gonna see who's better at flat. You know, and that's really what it's about, migration patterns. So we're gonna do a slow-mo on the end, hopefully catch if there's anything coming off the end of this. And we're gonna see what's in the tub afterwards. Dream mat, we lost, we lost one soldier. We, we left behind one man. Now let's see what happens with this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and crank this guy up. Get the water flowing. Crank her up to 10. All right. So now, here we go. We are going to sprinkle these, sprinkle these, sprinkle these, sprinkle these in here. See how we do.
We're almost done. Yeehaw! All the little sprinklies out of the bag. Now we've thrown our material through the sluice. Now we're gonna see how the migration pattern. Ooh, we even got a couple to stay on the B-rib. Impressive! Wow! So, and see how it works down there. All right, let's crank off the juice. And now let's take a look at what's below the sluice. Like we looked at it in Dream At, left one guy behind. Hopefully I don't fudge my finger on this recording because, all right, here we go. So there it is. There's what the traditional sluice blew out compared to the Dream At. So there is a profile going on here, fluid dynamics profile, and how one system handles flat material and how another system handles flat material. And then we saw the profile also on the round stuff. So what we're seeing is the correlation, and we could use this as a sort of a measure and anticipate if these two systems went head to head in any other environment, whether it be dirt, black sands, or whatever, you would see a correlation that would look similar. Whether there's less gold loss or more gold loss, you would see the same kind of results because it's kind of a factor where we've stripped away everything and the only reason we've done this is to give you a really quick, fast look, boom, on what it looks like with nothing else confusing your mind to help people see quick and easy. This isn't a trick test. This is a test to show people instead of going through, was the gold really in the dirt? Did, did they run, you know, was the dirt the same? And all this other stuff, was the feed rate the same? Blah, 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 all that stuff. So we stripped away all that to do a quick test to say, this is how this system handles the material. This is how the other system handles the material. What say you? Who's got the better system? And so that's what we're looking at. We're looking at a really good scientific test. Now we could add layers onto that. We could add sand. We could add dirt. We could add real gold. We could do all sorts of tests, but the, we, they should all be similar in their results. And we are actually gonna go further with the onion on this. But the, what this was is for people to see really quick Wow, look at the difference in the capture rate. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna do a stop start. All right, let's sweep these guys out of the way. We are going to do our surge test. We wanna see how this thing handles stopping and starting. Because we know when we did the stop and start on the dream map. I think go for memory here. Oh jeez. Brain is eluding me. I think we didn't lose any more of the flat ones. Yep, it was the round ones we lost two more two more in the surge. The flat ones, we didn't lose any. So now we got it empty below the drop zone. Now we're gonna do a stop and start and we're gonna see what happens. The Surge, the Sergio, all right, let's, number one Surge. Now remember, we did six Surges on the Dream Map. We're only gonna do three Surges on this because we don't want to be labeled as mean. One of the things we've already established by Mythbusters is that there's kind of the attitude that um, uh, Green Mat loses more material stopping and starting than um, uh, a traditional, I mean, than a traditional sluice. And what we're seeing is that's not the case. All right, there we are. Now, what would happen if I did give this system the same treatment as a dream mat and I surged it six times we're just screwing off this you know we're just well 
guys are just gonna have to tell me. There it is. All right, there's our migration pattern, what we see at the bottom, what we see at the next row, what we see at this row, what we see that down that far, and at the top. And I didn't even sweep that stuff off on the top like I, we cleared our clamp. So anyways, it's more of a riffle, so that's why I left it. There it is, guys. There's our difference between the traditional sluice and the dream mat. All right, guys, we did it again. We did the flat compared to the round. Um, the round video I thought was great. You know, it just kind of showed mater heavy material coming into a sluice, showed our migration pattern. Um, and a lot of you guys kind of felt that, you know, we need to see flat. So now we've done flat. And we've seen the same thing. Um, we keep adding layers onto this onion. Um, I think this is a pretty good test. Meaning the reason we stripped everything away is so that we can easily see without confusion and variables and everything so we can get it to its pure simplest form. So we can just look really quick and go, oh, I, I get it. And it has nothing to do with trying to take away those variables because those variables help the other system. What I hope you guys see is those variables that you would add back in hurt the other system. More angle would hurt it. More flow would hurt it. Material knocking the gold out would hurt it. Some people say, well, I got black sands that hold my gold in. Well, that's to have an excessive amount of black sands for something to hide in in a traditional sluice would kind of be overburdening the mat. And we, we could challenge that. We could always go to the next level and try to dismiss rather than look at the experiment for its simplest form and learn something. One thing we've learned is, in the simplest form, the Dream Mat can hold more round material easier, um, metal. And we've learned that the Dream Mat can hold more flat material better um, than the traditional Ripple Extended Metal Miner's Moss. Um, what are you going to do with that? I don't know. What should we do with it? Just think about it, maybe. Um, there's hope for all of our customers to see the difference like what we've seen here. In this simple video, they went, oh my gosh, look at the difference between round. Oh my gosh, look at the difference between flat. Those are the testimonials. Go to our website. Go to our product testimonials on each of our products. Read what people are saying. For some reason, we have thousands of customers saying, oh my gosh, the difference. And we keep hoping to learn more, experiment more, and develop more products that make the difference even better. And with the help of all this input that people give to us, well, what about this? Well, what about that? Is going to help us think, how can we solve that? You know, how can we make that better within what we can do? Um, and that's what we're trying to do here at DreamApp. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the music. Somebody commented on the last video. Drop the soundtrack. Well, because of you, I brought that in. I'll probably edit that out. Anyways. All right, guys. Cool beans.